Hi, how are you all? Today in this video, I'll show you how to create a cool diamond shader in EV. So no further waiting, let's get into the tutorial. First clear all your files in the scene and press Shift A and create a cone. Here you can change the vertices to 8 undo the depth to 1 meter ok now rotate this cone to 180 degree scale it a little bit ok now go to the edit mode select the top face press E to extrude a little bit press again E to extrude it a little bit and scale press extrude again and scale it again something like this ok now go to the front view press K to enable the knife tool and here press Z to enable cut through here you can click and hold the control to snap it to center and click here press enter Ok now select all the faces here by holding shift alt right click subdivide and select go to the edge selection mode select the edges here press delete select dissolve edges ok now go to the vertex selection mode select the vertices one by one like this and press J to connect all the vertices and the final vertices didn't connect it so connect it again press J ok now go to the face selection mode select these faces here and right click triangulate faces and again select the top faces here right click triangulate faces now change the quad method to fixed alternate and select the top face rotate it to 22.5 degree ok now go to the front view edge selection mode select the middle edges here and select go to the checker deselect ok now go, go to the top view and press S to scale something like a circle ok now select scale tool scale it a little bit like this ok fine now our diamond is ready let's skip it ok now get into the shading tab ok first we need to enable the viewport shading here and we need to add a environment lighting for that you can for that you can change the color to environment texture and select any HDRA material I get HDRA from hdrahaven.com I give the link in the description you can check it out open ok now our environment lighting is ready now we need to hide the background texture for that change this to world here select the background press shift D to duplicate that and add a mix shader drop it here and connect this to the bottom one now again press shift A and go to input add a node called light now connect the camera ray to the factor value of mix shader ok now our background is height hidden now change the background color to black 
okay now come back to the object property select the diamond add a new material okay now lower all the value here increase the IOR to 2.416 and increase the transmission to 1 and here material property you can enable the screen space refraction here and also go to the rendering properties enable screen space refraction here okay okay now we need to disconnect this and add another node called color ramp sorry go to converter add a color ramp ok first select the color change it to red and add, add one more color select this to change this to green and the final one would be blue lower all this increase the blue ok fine next create another node called frontal node first one ok change this IOR to 1.1 .1. connect the factor to the factor value of color ram ok now add one more shader called refraction BSTF ok connect the color to the refraction color and connect it to the surface ok now we need to mix this two shader to one so press shift a and create another mix shader and connect the refra refraction to bottom and the principal pftf bstf to the top one ok now create another frontal node by select this press shift d and create another color ramp node ok connect the frontal to the factor of color ramp and connect this color to the mix shader factor ok ok now connect this mix shader to the surface ok now our shader is ready you can see the material you can see the graph ok now you can play with the value to get it more what it you like change the colors something like this and change this frontal to 1.4 something and lower this value you can change it this and this values to suit for your scene ok now go to the viewport 3d viewport add a plane give it some textures uh, checker texture scale it to 50 ok rotate this cone and place it on the plane okay let's see how it look like yeah okay fine you can also enable the bloom effect to look more like a glowing diamond yeah you can see here
I hope you like my tutorial. Please do subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.